we have finally found Escort Rock. You can imagine the <coughs> Cobb, Cobb and Company coach coming round that bend there. And right here, amongst these boulders, they would have got ambushed by not the Ned Kelly gang, but the Ben Hall gang. And here's the memorial, which is hardly signed on the road. You, no wonder we drove past it yesterday. Yes, I believe that the uh, <clears throat> two ounce, the 2,719 ounces of gold and cash was equivalent to one million dollars in 2003. I so, Ben Hall Country. An exciting look back into history and it was a clever place too because they're over here on the right uh, over that bridge is a bit of a creek so the horses would have been able to get water and refresh themselves and that's the way next town I think is Murga where our friend Nettie lived as a little girl and further on you come to Orange and Bathurst. Oh and over here there's a gun. I don't know what type of gun this is because I'm no expert on guns. I don't even know when it would have been used. Oh there's a plaque there. Unfortunately it's a bit warm. This Australian built short 25 pounder held gun from World War II was donated to the citizens of Ugara by U Ugara Apex Club 1972. So another little plaque on the other side says that it was an, an adult car. 25 pounder. Don't know much about the age of trees. I think it's the annual rings that we count to determine how old a tree is. So, never know, but this tree might actually have been living. time of the uh, Escort Rock bullion holder. We're turning out of Gunnerbland. <coughs> We're heading for the Billabong where Ben Hall finally was killed by the uh, by the authorities who'd sent uh, They've been tipped off and they sent a uh, troop to, uh, to ambush him in his billabong. Uh, he'd been betrayed by his best friend who lived in Gunnerbland. Seems to have come miles along this dirt road. And it's a very hot day. We finally and the place where the poor guy was shot. He was said to be quite good looking but this picture doesn't do him any justice.
There's a story, brief story of his life. And all around this area in this goldfields region he was feared by many people. And it says that 50 meters from the road in the trees he was shot dead. And I think uh, he, after he was hit he, he begged he begged to be shot more he was when he was half alive and he begged to be shot and they put about 30 over 30 bullets into him. Poor guy. This here looks to be his final resting place. This little blue flower I picked from this patch of grass in front of me. I'm going to dry the flower in between the books of the Bush Ranger book that I have in between the pages, and that will be a reminder of this day. Now this is where you turn left on that dirt road to go down to Ben Hall's place. That's the general store there that's for sale. Um, there's an interesting little property over there. We're now on our way back. And this time we're going to go straight down this road to Forbes, hopefully.